Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and I'm an instructor here on Drumeo Edge. Today, I've got something super cool to show you. This is a little taste of one of the series that I did for Drumeo called Make Your Ordinary Beats Sound Extraordinary. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go from a basic beat, and I'm going to show you three really cool things that you can do to modify not only this beat, but any beat that you want. Let's just get right into it. First up, let's just start with a typical eighth note rock beat. Alright, so let's have some fun with that. One of the things that I like to do, nah, one of the things I love to do is displacement. So what we're going to do first with this beat is we're going to displace just one of those snare drums. Now you don't have to stop there, you can displace anything or even the whole thing, but for today, let's just move one of them. So the snare drum that's on beat 4, that second snare drum we played, let's pull it earlier by a 16th note. So now it's going to be on the uh of 3. So we have 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e. Make sure for when you're practicing that you kind of get your hands out of the way of each other. One of the things I find people have a lot of trouble with is getting those notes in between hi-hats to be accented. Now one of the things that makes that the easiest is making sure your hands are close. When your hands are like this, your sticks are going to get in the way of each other. Whereas if they're like this, you've got all this room you can make a ton of noise with without even having to move your other hand. So if you watch when I'm playing these, my hands are almost touching each other. Well, not like touch and touching each other, but you know, location wise, they're pretty close. Let's try that beat again, a little bit more up to speed. So displacement's one idea, and of course, you can move anything you want. You can move any of those kicks, you can even mess around with your hi-hats, you can even just start the beat on a different note if you'd like. We don't want to get off on too much of a tangent though. Let's take a look at another idea that we can do to these. One of the other things that I love to do pretty much on every beat is embellish it. I like playing lots of notes, so let's fill it up a little bit. We're going to throw in some ghost notes, throw in some extra kicks. Let's take it nice and slow and just see what we can do now that we've moved that snare drum back to a little bit of a funkier spot. So what we did there is I filled in almost every single offbeat 16th note with the snare drum, with the exception of the uh of one. So one E and uh, that one, we're not playing it. So what we have for the first quarter note is bass, ghost note, ghost note, bass for one E and uh. From then on, we're going to have a backbeat on beat two with the snare drum, and then every single E and uh note is going to be a ghost note, with the, of course, the exception of that backbeat we put in on the uh of three. So our hands, just on their own, go like this. After you get your hands under that, it's time to throw in some extra bass drums. Let's see what it sounds like when we add this whole thing back together. Pay special attention to the notes where the bass drum lines up with a ghost note. Now, if that's too hard for you, you can totally skip the ghost notes that line up with the bass drum. They just add a little bit of extra kind of texture and vibe to your groove if you have them there. If you can't play it, no big deal. Just give it a try. Do your best. Let's take that guy up to speed. All 
Just remember, when you're embellishing your beats, you don't have to fill in all the notes like I just did there. That was just an example. You can take this wherever you want. Some of the coolest notes are the ones that you don't play, so don't be afraid to leave some space in there. The last thing I want to talk about today for modifying these beats is changing the pattern you're playing on your riding surface. Now, so far we've been playing this on the hi-hats. Now, that doesn't mean you have to play these on the hi-hats. You can play these on any of these cymbals you want. You can play it on the rims, the side of your drums if you don't care about your finish. Anything. The world is completely your oyster under this kind of idea. But for now, let's keep it on the hi-hats and just change what our right hand is doing. So instead of just playing eighth notes, I'm going to go with an eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes. That's going to sound like this. So we have one, two, three, four. So it gives it an interesting pattern. Now this may be too hard for some people to play along with right away, but you know, work up to it. Do your best. The hardest thing to do is to line up all these ghost notes with all these extra right hand notes cleanly. The more flammy it is, the worse the groove is going to sound. So do your best to really focus on consistency and take it slow. The slower you go, the easier it's going to be to learn all this stuff. The biggest mistake I see people make is they try and just jump into stuff too fast when they're not ready for it yet. I'm guilty of it, everybody's guilty of it. But if you can control it and slow it back down when you need to, it's going to make a huge difference in your playing and you're going to be able to learn things a lot faster, whether you believe it or not, I promise. Let's try this out. Now let's try it a little bit more up to speed. In fact, I'm going to throw it over on the stack. Alright, so that beat starts to sound pretty hectic by the time we put it up on a big noisy stack and add in all those notes with our displaced snare drum. Let me just give you a little bit of a reminder of how we started. So it's a pretty drastic change just by adjusting three things about this beat. Now think about this, on Drumeo Edge I spent three weeks messing with this. We had three full hour long lessons starting with that beat going somewhere completely different. And the cool thing is, is by the time we ended, that beat was still hidden within that final beat that we came up with. So that being said, if you want to check out Drumeo Edge, there's a link right below the video here. We've got an insane deal going on right now. You just check that out and I can see you guys inside there. I'm going to play you out with one of the ideas kind of nearing the end of that three week series. I'll see everybody inside the next lesson.